Hey everybody, GeoWarm Security here, and today we're going to show you how to program the Qualsys IQ Motion S, part number QS1230 840, into the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 wireless security system. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do is take the IQ Motion S, remove it from its packaging box, like so. Inside, you will find the mounting screws. You will find the motion sensor itself. You can go ahead and remove that from the wrapper. Remove the installation manual and make sure to keep everything in resellable condition in the event that you ever need to return it. Now that we have the motion sensor removed, uh, we're going to go ahead and program it in. So from the, home uh, from the home page on the IQ Panel 2, go ahead and either slide down or select, which will pop down this tab. Select Settings, Advanced Settings. Enter user code. Now you can either, either use the dealer code, which is the most powerful code, which is 2222, or the installer code, which is 1111. Uh, not a huge difference, but there's a few nuances in there that are different. Uh, I'll use 2222 just to show you. Uh, now you're going to select installation. You'll notice everything as far as programming is in, in, in an order. So now devices, security sensors, and now that you're at this page, we're almost to the programming area. So you have two options. You can add a sensor manually or you can add a sensor automatically. Uh, to enter the sensor in manually, you would just locate the DLID number located in the back of the IQ Motion S. I like to just auto learn it. So you can see some of the other sensors that we've been learning. Uh, all of these already have a video, so make sure to browse around on our YouTube page. Uh, if you have any other questions about other products, you can also find links uh, below. So just click show more in the description and you'll see plenty of links in there. Uh, so now uh, what you're going to do is you have about 120 seconds and all you got to do is just pop the motion sensor open and then all you do is remove the battery tab like so. And the motions take a little longer to pair, but you can see that the red LED is activated in the front, so momentarily it will learn into the panel. As you can see, it, it, there is a little delay with the motion, uh, but now you can select OK. Boom, now we're in the Qualsys programming area, and this is one of the best features uh, that make this system use, extremely user-friendly, is the programming nature. So sensor type, we know that this is a motion sensor, so sensor type, you simply select. Uh, you'll see a drop down. You can scroll again with that processor, the Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, processor, as well as the Android software, they can actually scroll on this beautiful screen. Uh, so we're going to select motion, sensor name, motion detector. This is really cool. Uh, even though this doesn't really enunciate so often because uh, there's no chime activated usually um, You can basically just have it motion detector and then they give you some pre-cut uh, You know options here. I'll just go ahead and put hallway motion detector. You could put a custom description Chime type you don't need a chime type with the motion uh, although if you select it you can see that sometimes you can set up a motion sensor not to report its signals to central station, but still send you alerts and things like that, or even chime. Um, so you can use it in that nature, but in most cases, it's not used that way, so I'll keep it at uh, none. Sensor group, away instant motion. That's the most common setup. Uh, you can also have some other variations in here. Uh, again, that's if uh, not the most common. Um, if there's enough comments and questions, I'll go ahead and make it and show you how to do it. Um, voice prompts, not a big deal, keep it off. And very importantly, you want to make sure if you know you have an S-Line sensor, um, automatically it will pick it up. Uh, so make sure it's S-Line and not security RF319. If you're having issues down the line with troubles and things like that, uh, and this sensor is just not working, then come back here and check that and chances are that it would be changed. Um, so now that all this has been taken care of, select Add New. Sensor added successfully. The sensor has been registered. Select the Home button. Perfect. And that's how you program the Qualsys IQ Motion S, part number QS1230 840, 
into the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 wireless security and home automation system. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.